Hillary Clinton hasn't even said she's in the running for 2016, but already a formidable campaign apparatus has sprung up around a presidential bid that has some Democratic candidates unnerved about the risk that she could monopolize political funding efforts. Peter Nicholas joins us from Washington this morning. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. So why are Democrats bothered about the enthusiasm for the former Secretary of State? I apologize. I'm having trouble hearing. The audio quality is a little muddled. Uh, I'll, I'll try to speak louder. Maybe this, Peter, uh, so why exactly are Democrats so bothered about such a groundswell of, of favorable opinion for Hillary Clinton? Uh, well, the uh, story we wrote is that um, there is some concern in the Democratic Party about this enormous um, apparatus that has evolved. Uh, Hillary Clinton has fundraising PACs and super PACs all working toward to elect her, even though she's not yet a candidate. And their concern is that this could siphon money away from some other Democratic candidates who are running in the midterm elections. And also, uh, it could just clear the field. The Democratic Party has a long history of contested elections, contested nominations. But she's so far ahead at this point that um, legitimate, viable Democratic candidates might not want to get in the race. And this could deprive the party and deprive the country, potentially, of an important debate, a debate about NSA surveillance, a debate about um, how to deprive Iran of a nuclear weapon. So that's uh, where the concern arises. Okay, just have a look. Let's have a look at exactly how far ahead she is. There's a Washington Post ABC poll out that shows Hillary at 73 percent among yeah. uh, uh, polled voters. There, you know, Joe Biden just 12, and, and Elizabeth Warren yeah. only eight. Um, really, I mean, it looks as if there's no hope for the others at this stage. Well, she is uh, very far ahead at this point. In fact, you have to go back way back in history, and I'm not sure there's a precedent in history for a candidate being so far ahead. But remember, there is not yet a campaign. Uh, Hillary Clinton hasn't announced yet whether she's going to run, neither is Joe Biden. Other prospective candidates are Martin O'Malley, Governor of Massachusetts. Um, so she's, yeah. Yeah, and, and of course, uh, ba back in the previous uh, Democratic primary process against uh, Barack Obama, she was a front runner and then, and then lost that lead pretty quickly. That's right. So we've seen, there's an aspect of this that we've seen this movie before. She was the prohibitive front runner in 2008, and yet uh, an insurgent young candidate named Barack Obama came along and just knocked her off her perch. Hmm. So some Democrats who want her to win and who like her and have great uh, respect and enthusiasm for her are concerned nonetheless that she's set up for the same fall, that uh, she's Democratic Party, there's this David and Goliath aspect of it, and that could trip her up once again. So what exactly are fundraisers doing to try to ensure that some of the money and the love gets spread around a bit more uh, broadly? Well, what they're trying to do is um, they're coming up with a plan where they would ask donors to make a long-term commitment to Hillary Clinton. So they would ask to, uh, donors to give maybe over two, three years, but on the back end. So maybe pledge a million dollars, but only give 100,000 of that in this year. So it's not to deprive Democratic candidates running in the midterms of money that they need, um, which is very important to the party because they want to keep, keep the Senate in Democratic uh, hands and possibly win back the House. So that's a plan that they're toss, kicking around right now. All right, Peter, thank you very much for your time. We'll obviously be paying attention to this much. for the next few years. Thank you.